Yes, sir. So, uh, our first revision test, which is on Tuesday, day after tomorrow, is of list, tuple, and dictionary. Yes. Let me speak. Let me speak. All right. So, I am starting the revision from simple program to technical programs. Yesterday, Diksha, she implemented approximately eight to nine codes, I guess. So, uh, all the codes we will revise. Okay. Question, Likho. Write a program to initialize a list. Write a program to initialize a list. And write a program to initialize a list and transfer all the elements to new list and transfer all the elements to the new list but only those elements which are either divisible by 3 or divisible by 5. Which are either divisible by 3 or 5. Okay. From the simple code, I'll be proceeding to all the technical codings. So side by side, you implement it. Okay. And if the period gets over, we'll continue in the offline lab today. Right? And nobody will go home before accessing the offline labs. Okay? I have taken a list where I am taking elements which are either divisible by 3 or 5. Right? So this is my list. In the beginning, I will print the original list. Here I print my original list. Okay. I found the length of the list by taking the len function. And run the for loop up till the length of the list. I have a question over here from the offline class. What does X mean here in the for loop? Raise your hand for the answer. What X signifies in the range function of the for loop? Length of the list. Funny. You know the length of the list. You know the length of the list. What's the role of X? What's the role of X? What's the role of X? Yes, you. Hmm. It will take into consideration all the values starting from 0 till n minus 1. Okay? You are having knowledge, but you are not able to express it clearly. It will take all the possible values starting from 0 to x minus 1. 
ओके ओके व्हाट डज दिस सिग्निफाइज If I make this change, what it signifies? Starting from the value two up till x minus one. Okay. If L of i modulus three equal equal to zero or L of i modulus five equal equal to zero. Then we are to shift all those elements into new list. So let us create the new list. Ya wo three se divisible ho, ya wo five se divisible ho. B dot append L of I. Check it out. Another question: Why I have taken the append function? Why I have taken the append function? Raise your hand for the answer. Yes. Yes, Divanshi. एक एक करके वैल्यू ओके ठीक है इट विल एड अप इट विल इंसर्ट ऑल द वैल्यूज एट द एंड ऑफ द लिस्ट बट वन वैल्यू एट अ टाइम ओके वन वैल्यू एट अ टाइम All right. So here we print the new list. Okay. So uh, we run the code, and I save this coding. Plus one list division one. Yeah, check it out. Compare the original list and check out the elements which have been transferred to the list B. Got it? Am I clear? Yes, online class is the coding clear? आप सबका run हो गया offline class में हरी आप please finish it fast. All right. फिर वो लेगा एलिमेंट जो थ्री से भी डिवाइड हो जाता हो फाइव से भी तो वो रह गए फिफ्टीन थर्टी लो एंड सॉरी हम एंड लगा लेते हैं Only two. Okay. All right. Just a minute. Hello. Next question, please. Write a program to create a dictionary. 
write a program to create a dictionary which has number of key value pairs which has number of key value pairs where employee id is the key where employee id is the key and name is the value and name is the value ओके इंप्लॉय आईडी की है उसका नाम उसकी वैल्यू है राइट सो लेट अस स्टार्ट आई एम टेकिंग द नेम ऑफ डिक्शनरी ईएमपी ओके इन दिस कोडिंग आई विल मेक वन मिस्टेक इंटेंशनली एंड आई बी आस्किंग क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम यू यू हैव टू आइडेंटिफाई व्हिच मिस्टेक हैज बीन कमिटेड इन द कोडिंग and what type of mistake semantic or syntax or logical or runtime okay got it so i have to input the number of key value pairs right so running the for loop up till the size of the key value pairs what time he is entering the class employee id is the key so we say employee id equal to int input enter the id enter the name okay emp id equal to e name print e yeah. first of all raise your hand to tell me the errors where where error is there tell me one by one by raising your hands diksha first error कहां पे यस द मैसेज हैज नॉट बीन एनक्लोज इन डबल कोर्स ऑल राइट फर्स्ट एरर रिजॉल्व सेकेंड एरर रिद्धि द स्पेलिंग ऑफ रेंज फंक्शन आर रॉन्ग इट इज सिंगल ई थर्ड एरर वेन वी आर असाइनिंग की वैल्यू पेयर वी आर टू कीप की इन द स्क्वेर ब्रैकेट नॉट द राउंडेड ब्रैकेट और सॉरी करली ब्रैकेट ऑल राइट एनी अदर एरर चेक कर लो any other error sure is the code error free online class what are your views is the code error free yashika ramanjit jatin it is error free Three key value pairs: employee ID one, name, 
Rashid. Employee ID two, name Rashid. Three, Yashif. Check it. Got it? Is it clear online class? Practice this code in your PC now. I'm waiting for one minute. All of you practice this code in your PC. Wherever you will correct the error, then you have to underline that part. Be quiet, what is on? Yes, am I clear with this question to all of you? Achha, one change I want in this code. Abhi to aapke saamne jo ye code hai, I have run the for loop up till the end size. What if I want the key value pair keep on entering till the user want? I want key value pair to keep on entering up till the user choice. Abhi to end tak mene particular ek rigidness de di na ki end tak hi chalega. Ab mein chata hoon jab tak user chahe tab tak ho key value pair enroll kar raata re. While loop. Uh, while loop. Yeah, we will take a choice variable and uh, we will be initializing to y means yes and we'll be keep asking the user whether he want to enter any other uh, uh, people or not so practice this hurry up change your coding to the user's choice yes online class anybody having some different view for this any online child having some different view how to make this small code on the basis of user's choice. Yes, Jatin, you tell me. I thought this was the while loop with the choice variable. Okay. Yes, Jatin. So what change you will make here? You will take a ch variable, initialize it with y, or capital Y. That we will check later on. Okay. And uh, run the for loop. Whether lowercase y or ch equal to uppercase y. Okay. So keep on accepting the key value pair. Right? Now here, ask the user. Want to insert more pairs? Okay. So whatever will be the value of CH that will be stored in the CH variable and will be checked over here. Okay. So let us run it.
एंटर आई डी वन एंटर नेम ए यस आई प्लीज सी द एल सी डी वॉन्ट टू इंसर्ट मोर यस एंटर आई डी टू नेम बी वॉन्ट टू इंसर्ट मोर यस एंटर आई डी थ्री नेम सी यस आई वॉन्ट टू इंसर्ट मोर आई डी फोर नेम डी वॉन्ट टू इंसर्ट मोर नो ठीक है दिस इज कॉल्ड रनिंग द की वैल्यू एडिंग की वैल्यू पेयर ऑन द बेसिस ऑफ यूजर्स चॉइस जो पिछला था वो फिक्स नंबर ऑफ की वैल्यू पेयर था जितना एन दे दिया उतने रिकॉर्ड इंसर्ट हो जाएंगे ठीक है एवरी वन एनी डाउट बैक बेंचर्स एनी डाउट ये ऑनलाइन क्लास एनी डाउट यस anybody has any question please yeah of course check out the coding all of you please check out the coding don't do any gossiping class focus on the lecture acha one additional work on this as my dictionary is ready i want to display dictionary in sorted order okay Descending order. Yeah, let's do see the reverse equal to true. We will use sorted method, and uh, by taking dictionary as the parameter, second value will be taking reverse equal to true. That will uh, make my dictionary sort in descending order. Online class, am I clear? Yes. Okay. another question i want to delete any key value pair i can use del statement or i can use pop method by taking any particular key which i want to delete here i will ask the user enter the key which you want to delete and by using the pop method i can delete that very key value pair okay so remove to kadi dekhna saath mein ha clear it okay now i have a program for you uh you are to make a dictionary where boss has decided to allot 10000 bonus to all the employees fm bhi hai theek hai apne panch employees ko boss ne decide kiya ki 15000 ka bonus panchon employees ko dena theek hai and create a dictionary for it right Yes question is clear to you online class 